Hey, it's Richard Mosdell here. This is my vlog number 120. The club has been fantastic this week. We've had spring break, now everyone's back. We've had a big belt test the last two days. What I want to talk about is doing things for the members. We have a fantastic little gym that's attached right in our dojo. We added all kinds of new things, hand weights, barbells, uh, multi-gym. I'm even sitting on the rowing machine. One of the really cool things is when we can give members more than they're expecting from us. We found one thing that's really helped in keeping members is giving them feedback, not just verbal feedback, but even written feedback. You can't just tell your members, be faster, be sharper, oh, you're really slow. Or like in Japan, where they just say, osoi, osoi, means late or slow, or chiao, chiao, means wrong. You actually have to give them something, I found. You have to give them something that they can refer to. So one part might be a manual with a list of what they're expecting from them in their club and for their belt rank. And you also have to give them some sort of evaluation. So what we do is two things. One is we give them a progress evaluation. So every month, the last class that they come to for the last week, we give evaluations. Where are you at for your standing, moving, and basics in your kata? And what can you work on? We give them a score and that score lets them know are they kind of, you know, maybe just still learning for that belt rank that they just got, that they're new to their belt? Are they doing not bad? And, or, yes, you definitely need to go for the next belt test when you're ready and you have enough uh, classes, enough attendance. Then when they actually do the belt test, we don't just say pass or fail. We actually give them a written evaluation afterwards as well. We give them scores on each of the different parts of the curriculum they're presenting and things that they did great and things they need to work on. We want to build confidence for them. The more information we can give them and really uh, simple and clear to understand information depending on their age and who they are and their level, the better they are. It can't just be a pass and fail uh, on a belt test or did you win a medal or not at a tournament or the fact that you're just simply showing up. You know, the days of just getting belts for time and service is not really helpful. It's not do your best if your best is so-so. It's like, how can we actually make you get better, fitter, stronger, and really enjoy doing karate? So not only do we want to have systems where we're using written evaluation with verbal evaluation and, and verbal feedback, but also we're getting them more staff. We're getting them more classes and more specific things. You want to be somewhere where it's constantly growing. Like no one wants to be in a school or a business where oh they're not bringing more people in or we have to let some staff go or you know they're going to close a couple of the classes and shrink the school. You want to be a place where it's really exciting. Things are happening. Things are growing. And definitely that's our goal. Um, my whole kick now for the next couple of months is not just you know getting the tournaments rocking and rolling, especially the Canada Open, but as we get closer to the summer, is making everybody feel that wow. I just passed this belt test, or I'm just about to go for the next one. I want to be in fantastic shape, not just for my karate, but for my life, especially as we get into the summer months, and then really enjoy it. I love training in summer because it's hot, you're sweaty, you get looser, you get faster, and then the people who take the summer off and you don't, when everyone comes back in September, you're already way ahead of them. So that's a, that's a big bonus, and if we can offer them a gym space, more places to work out, lots more to do in terms of classes and have more instructors for them, the better. If I can leave you with one thing, is that just do it. Just do it. Experiment and get out there and do it. Do all kinds of new things. Try new stuff. Go to different classes. Try new kata. Try and learn the kata just above the one that you uh, are doing right now for your belt. Go to one more class in the week. Just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Have a great time. Experiment. And if you're teaching karate, just keep experimenting, try stuff. When someone likes something, give them more of it. If they're starting to laugh, make them laugh more. And if they're sweating, you gotta make them sweat. 
Keep it going. This is my vlog 120. It's Richard Mosdell here. Can't wait to bring you all kinds of fantastic stuff. It's just, you're going to be amazed by the things that are coming down the way. And uh, I can't wait to share them with you as we go forward. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe below, upstairs, wherever it is.